Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and today we are going to learn about how to create a bump chart in Tableau. Well, first of all, let's understand what bump chart is. It is a form of a line chart designed for exploring changes in rank over a period of time. Well, this chart is normally used to compare the ranking of any dimension based on a particular measure value over a period of time. So well, it looks something like this, as you can see on the dashboard, I'm trying to show here the ranking by region based on the sales value. So as you can see here, in January 2019, and central region has a rank one with a total sales of 21 grand. And then it was the west region where the sales were 12 grand and then we go down to rank 3 which is east region and then rank 4th which is the south region and you can see how the rank is changing over a period of time so if we select let's say central region you can see it went down in the middle of the year and it stayed down till the end of the year whereas if we look at let's say east region it was at rank 3 but eventually by the end of the year, it picked up the pace and was at number one as well. So how we can achieve this? Well, let's get started. It's really easy to create this chart. So first of all, we will go to a sheet. And in this case, I have already connected the sample Superstore data set. So as I mentioned earlier, it's to compare the rank over a period of time. So in this case, we need a date field so in this case we will pick it up order date and bring it into the column shelf and you can either use year month or quarter but in this example I will use um, month here and I will bring the order date into filter shelf and we'll look at the data only for let's say 2019 then I want to bring a region and sales and I will simply use the line chart here and I will use it as a measure value so I just need I will remove these two I don't need these so here you can see the line chart for all the regions by sales but now we want the sales to show the ranking of the region so we will just click on the drop down for the sales and go to quick table calculation and we'll select rank and then we will click on the drop down again and we'll say compute using region so now you will see the sales by region where the ranking is based on the region and here you can see rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 and rank 4 it's in the descending order so you can change it by just right clicking and edit the axis and reverse the order and just close the window and you will see now central region is at number one then we have west and east region you can bring the sales field into the tooltips and you can see the sales number as well also if you want to make it a bit more fancy then just press control key in windows and command key in mac and drag the sales number and create a duplicate version in the rows. Go here and change to circles and you will see circles appeared here. Then you just need to create a dual axis and synchronize the axis here. And you can increase the size a bit bigger and you can just do a bit of formatting and your bump chart is created. And it will look something like this after a bit of formatting. Well, I hope you guys like this session. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment in the section below. And we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.